हेलो माय डियर स्टूडियस एंड स्टूडियो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार्म वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज जिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज नंबर 34 फोर दैट इज द एनोरेक्टल एफिस एंड फिस्टला इन एनो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर एनोरेक्टल एफिसेस पेरियनल एफिसेस इच्योरेक्टल एफिसेस सब म्यूकस एफिसेस फिस्टुला इन एनो लो लेवल फिस्टुला हाई लेवल फिस्टुला गुटसाल सूल एंड हर्शू फिस्टुला सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ मी फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ द एनोरेक्टल एफिसेस एफिस अराउंड द लोअर रेक्टम एंड एनल कैनल आर ऑल्सो नोन एज द एनोरेक्टल एफिसेस दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एज दिस ऑफन culminates in fistula in ano the causative organism is usually ischemia coli less commonly staphylococcus aureus bacteroides streptococcus and b proteus etc in 90% of cases the abscess starts as an infection of an anal glands in remaining 10% of the cases infection may come from blood borne infection that is the extension of the cutaneous boils etc now the classification following are the types of the anorectal abscesses first is the perianal which is contribute 60% ischiorectal which is contribute 30% submucous and pelvirectal are contributes only 10% here is a good image which showing all types of the anorectal abscesses that is the supralevator side side of the abscess of the supralevator intersphincteric which is shown by the arrow ischiorectal abscess perianal abscess submucosal abscess and the subphincteric externus this is the another picture showing the ischiorectal abscesses and the submucosal abscesses now first the perianal abscess causes arise from acute inflammation of anal gland infection of the thrombosed external piles clinical features throbbing pain around the anus fever and headache maybe there is a chills fever with chills treatment ind is the treatment of choice antibiotics cover inadequate and defective incision will lead to the anal fistula the cruciate incision is placed on the most prominent part cavity is packed and healing will start by granulation tissue here is another image showing the perianal abscess and ischiorectal abscess supraelevator abscess submucous abscess green colored showing the abscesses types of the abscesses here is a typical anorectal abscess clinical features showing the redness and inflammation and throbbing pain now the second type of the anorectal abscess is the ischiorectal abscess causes extension of anal gland inflammation laterally through the external sphincter infection may be through blood or lymph penetrating injury causing direct infection from outside extension from pelvic rectal abscess through hiatus of the shovel swalbe pathophysiology ischiorectal fossa is full of the fat and poorly vascularized so infection continues for a long time and gradually the whole fossa becomes involved the ischiorectal fossa is connected to the other side posterior to the anal sphincter so ischiorectal abscess may spread to the opposite side of the side of or not treated early if not treated early clinical features pain becomes exuberant during defecation a tender brown indurated swelling is seen treatment ind with a cruciate incision and packing of gauze of antibiotics here is a typical picture of the ischiorectal fossa ischiorectal abscesses showing by the yellow color another image showing the external drainage of the ischiorectal abscess third type of the abscess anorectal abscess is the submucous abscess situated just deep to the mucous membrane of the anal canal above the dented line it occurs usually from spread of infection from the anal glands and even after injection of hemorrhoids treatment is ind and packing fourth is the type of abscess is the pelvic rectal abscess situated above the levator ani pelvic floor and below the pelvic peritoneum simple pelvic abscess which may occur from appendicitis diverticulitis salpingitis and parametritis treatment is drainage through the fornix of the vagina and throughout the wall of the rectum now next point of this lecture is fistula in ano fistula in ano is an inflammatory tract which has an external opening that is the secondary opening in the perianal skin and an internal opening this is which is the primary opening in the anal canal or rectum this tract is lined by the unhealthy granulation tissues and fibrous tissues now the cause is the fistula usually originates from a perianal abscess in the intersphincteric uh, space of the anal canal from the infections of the anal gland due to the tone of the internal sphincter the duct cannot apply discharge the contents of the gland stasis and secondary infection lead to abscess formation from the anal glands 
in the intersphincteric region and easily tracks down and opens in the perianal skin externally thus fistula in ano form here is a typical picture of the fistula in ano there is a external opening which is secondary shown there is hyperglomeration on the perianal skin clearly seen a schematic diagram showing the site of the abscesses a on the right side superior levator b intersphincter c showing the ischiorectal abscess and d is the perianal and on the left side fistula tract is intersphincter number 2 showing the transphincter number 3 showing the suprasphincter and number 4 showing the extrasphincter this x ray image of the fistulogram showing the typical fistulogram of the horseshoe fistula this is the probing image in fistula in ano probing is done this is the low level fistula in which the probing is performed and this is the sha sutra you can see the sha sutra have very great significance in the treatment of the fistula in ano and which is avoid definitely recurrence of this disease fistula in ano now the several other disorders must be considered which may cause fistula in ano ulcerative colitis crohn's disease and tuberculosis and colonial carcinoma of the rectum all these diseases are have been considered for the secondary cause of the fistula in ano and the diagram is already described previously classifications broadly anal fistula can be divided into two groups low level fistula and high level fistula first we will see the low level fistula this fistula is open into the anal canal below the anorectal ring this can be further subdivided into subcutaneous type submucous type intersphincter type and fourth is the transphincter type and fifth is the suprasphincter type here is a good picture of the low level fistula in ano and then the high level fistula this fistula is open into the anal canal at or above the anorectal ring this can be further subdivided into first extrasphincter or second supralevator type second is the transphincter type which may be seen in low variety also and third is the pelvirectal fistula when there is a more than one external opening it is called a multiple anal fistula in this case there may be one or more internal openings now the clinical features of the fistula in ano are past history of the perianal abscesses can be received tuberculosis is a very common cause of the multiple fistula in our country granulous tissues may be seen pouting out from the mouth of the fistula induration of the skin and submucous tissues around the fistula and external openings for each side of the ischiorectal fossa may be seen with intercommunicating tract lying posterior to the anus this is called horseshoe fistula here is the types of the fistula showing the tract that enteric fistula transphincter superficial fistula intersphincter fistula and the suprasphincter type now the gutsal sul this sul relates the location of the internal opening to the external opening if the external opening is anterior to the imaginary line drawn across the midpoint of the anus the fistula runs straight directly into the anal canal and if the external opening is situated posteriorly to that line that imaginary line the track usually will curve and internal opening will be on the midline posterior of the anal canal that is at the 6 o'clock position an exception to this rule is when the external opening is anterior to this imaginary line but is situated more than 1.5 cm that is the 3.75 cm away from the anus anal ring in this case the track will curve posteriorly and ends in the posterior midline and opens at the 6 o'clock position in the anal canal here is a good picture showing the gutsal rule the dotted line showing the trans anal imaginary line anteriorly and posteriorly if the anteriorly the opening internal external opening is in the circle of the 3.5 cm then it is straightly open in the anal canal and if the posteriorly it makes no difference where the external opening is opening on the uh, in the circle or outside the circle it it is allwaysly if the external opening is outside of the posterior and above the circle it is always be open in the at the 6 o'clock position in the anal canal this is the good picture of the good sol rule to understand to diagnose of the internal opening of the fistula in ano the internal opening must be filled by digital examination if it is above the anorectal ring then it is the high fistula proctoscopy is sometimes necessary to visualize internal opening of the fistula lipidol injection into the external opening prior to the radiography will show the track of the fistula in ano chest x-ray to exclude the tuberculosis is important as fistula in ano is oftenly associated with the tuberculosis in this country 
if the surrounding skin of the fistula is discolored and the discharge is watery it strongly suggests the tuberculosis origin with induration around the fistula is lacking and the opening is irregular with undermined age now the treatment first we will see the low level fistula treatment of the low level fistula fistula tract must be the laid open the patient is placed in the lithotomy position the biodigital ex- examination is made under the anesthesia to reveal the cord like induration representing the tract fistula tract must be laid open with probe and knife and unhealthy granulated tissue on the wall of the fistula is scraped off with a holkman spoon or the whole tract with the fibrous tissue is excited the cavity is packed with the roller gauze wrung with weak antiseptic lotion now the treatment of the high level fistula is the if there is a supra levator fistula is mostly secondary to crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis or carcinoma or foreign body this requires treatment of the primary condition and the fistula is ignored any attempt to lay open the fistula will cause incontinence then second high level fistula treatment is the transmembranous fistula in this case there is a almost always a low fistula and if care is not taken while inserting the probe pointed director the director will go into the high secondary tract and if passed hard will open into the rectum above the anorectal ring transforming the condition into the high fistula so in this type of the fistula the lower tract is open as usual the upper tract opening is made wide with scraping the high fistula and hokman spoon with hokman spoon the upper tract will heal by itself along with the low fistula transmembranous fistula with a perforating secondary tract a seton of heavy black silk arksha sutra or rubber band is passed round the deeper part of the tract the silk is tied loosely outside and keep in situ for 2 weeks this stimulate fibrosis adjacent to the sphincter muscle in the second stage after 6 weeks the remaining part of the tract including the fibers of the sphincter muscles incorporated within the tie and is excited fibrosis from the previous operation prevents retraction of the freshly cut sphincteric fibers so incontinence is avoided means that at the same time the cutting is there and the granulation or the healing of the fistula tract is continuing this operation is known as the grabiel in two two stages operation healing occurs in part as the new portion is cut and the old portion heals here is a text picture showing use of the seton in case of high fistula that is the puborectal is muscle is seen external sphincter and internal sphincter is there there is a very minimum chances of cutting there and incontinence you can use seton you can also use the kshaya sutra which have very great significance which have a good result now the third high inner sphincteric fistula also treated in similar fashion as above like transsphincteric fistula now horseshoe fistula is usually not treated by radical unroofing procedure that is the fistulotomy instead of posterior midline internal sphincterotomy combined with lying open the deep part of the fistula tract is performed the lateral tracts are excised this is the one lay operation here is a good image showing the horseshoe fistula the image the shape like the shoe of the horse that's why it is called the horseshoe fistula this is the image of the fistulogram in the horseshoe fistula this is an animated picture showing the horseshoe fistula dear students there are very good videos of fistulotomy fistulectomy and shastra methods are applying the seton on youtube you can watch it to clear the concept better here is the end of our surgery lecture number 34 that is the anorectal abscesses and fistula in ano thank you